The Chrysler Hemi engines, known by the trademark Hemi, are a series of I6 and V8 gasoline engines built by Chrysler with hemispherical combustion chambers. Three different types of Hemi engines have been built by Chrysler for automobiles. The first, known as the Chrysler Firepower engine, from 1951 to 1958, the second from 1964 to 1971, and the third beginning in 2003. Although Chrysler is most identified with the use of Hemi as a marketing term, many other auto manufacturers have incorporated similar designs. During the 1970s and 1980s, Chrysler also used the Hemi name for their Australian-made Hemi 6 engine and applied it to the four-cylinder Mitsubishi 2.6L engine installed in various North American market vehicles. Topic. Concept A hemispherical cylinder head, Hemi head gives an efficient combustion chamber with an excellent surface-to-volume ratio, with minimal heat loss to the head, and allows for two large valves. However, a Hemi head allows no more than two valves per cylinder, and these large valves are necessarily heavier than in a multi-valve engine. The intake and exhaust valves lie on opposite sides of the chamber and necessitate a cross-flow head design. Since the combustion chamber is a partial hemisphere, a flat-topped piston would yield too low a compression ratio unless a very long stroke is used, so to attain desired compression ratio the piston crown is domed to protrude into the head at top dead center, resulting in a combustion chamber in the shape of the thick peel of half an orange. The Hemi head design places the spark plug at or near the center of the chamber to promote a strong flame front. However, if the Hemi head hemisphere is of equal diameter to the piston, there is minimal squish for proper turbulence to mix fuel and air thoroughly. Thus, Hemi heads, because of their lack of squish, are more sensitive to fuel octane rating. A given compression ratio will require a higher octane rating to avoid pre detonation in a Hemi engine than in some conventional engine designs such as the wedge and bathtub. The Hemi head always has intake and exhaust valve stems that point in different directions, requiring a large, wide cylinder head and complex rocker arm geometry in both cam in block and single overhead cam engines. Dual overhead cam engines may not have rocker arms. This adds to the overall width of the engine, limiting the vehicles in which it can be installed. Significant challenges in the commercialization of engine designs utilizing hemispherical chambers revolved around the valve actuation, specifically how to make it effective, efficient, and reliable at an acceptable cost. This complexity was referenced early in Chrysler's development of their 1950s Hemi engine. The head was referred to in company advertising as the double rocker shaft head. Topic World War II Chrysler developed their first experimental Hemi engine for the Republic P-47 Thunderbolt fighter aircraft. The XIV-2220 engine was an inverted V-16 rated at 2,500 horsepower 1,860 kilowatts. The P-47 was already in production with a Pratt & Whitney radial engine when the XIV-2220 flew successfully in trials in 1945 as a possible upgrade, but the war was winding down and it did not go into production. However, the exercise gave Chrysler engineers valuable research and development experience with two-valve hemi-combustion chamber dynamics and parameters. In addition to the aircraft engine, Chrysler and Continental worked together to develop the air-cooled AV-17905B V12 Hemi engine used in the M47 Patton tank. Topic. First generation, firepower Chrysler applied their military experience with the hemispherical combustion chamber to their first overhead valve V8 engine, released under the name Firepower, not Hemi, in 1950 for the 1951 model year. The first version of the Firepower engine had a displacement of 331 cu in 5.4 L and produced 180 bhp 134.2 kilowatts. 
Eventually, three of the four Chrysler divisions had its own versions of the firepower engine, with different displacements and designations, and having almost no parts in common. This lack of commonality was due in part to the three engine versions using different bore pitches the center-to-center -center distance between adjacent cylinders. Chrysler and Imperial called their versions the Firepower. DeSoto called theirs the Firedome. Dodge had a smaller version, known as the Red Ram. Only Plymouth didn't have a version, instead retaining the Dodge poly head engines, there was no Plymouth Hemi engine until the 1964-426. Briggs Cunningham used the Chrysler version in some of his race cars for international motorsports. A Chrysler-powered Cunningham C5R won its class in 1953. Cunningham switched away from these designs in 1959 when Chrysler temporarily abandoned the hemispherical concept in favor of the wedge-head B engine until 1964. Collectively, the 1951, 58 Hemi engines are now commonly referred to as first-generation Hemi engines, and the group can be identified by the rear-mounted distributor and the spark plugs in a row down the center of wide valve covers. 1951 Plymouth Hemi V6 There were plans in 1951 for a Plymouth dual overhead cam Hemi V6 displacing 235 cubic inches designed by Chrysler's Powerplant Research and Engine Design Division. It was meant to be a powerful, fuel-efficient alternative to Ford's V8 and to replace Plymouth's venerable flathead 6. The plans were scrapped due to build costs and because of the then unusual design. Topic. Chrysler and Imperial All Chrysler firepower engines are oversquare, i.e. their bore is larger than their stroke. Topic. 331 This first firepower engine, used from 1951 to 1955, has a bore of 3.8125 in and a stroke of 3.625 in for a piston displacement of 331 cu in 5.4 l, and a deck height of 10.32. Quote opening parenthesis quote. Low deck. Quote closing parenthesis dot. The bore pitch, shared by all Chrysler firepower engines, was 4.5625. The largest of any first-generation Hemi engines. Most used a two-barrel carburetor and produced 180 bhp 134 kilowatts, with the famous exception of the 1955 Chrysler C300 equipped with dual Carter WCFB4 barrel carburetors and rated at 300 horsepower. The 331 engine was used in the following applications 1951-1955 Chrysler New Yorker 1951-1954 Chrysler Imperial and 1955 Imperial 1951 Chrysler Saratoga Optional 1952 Chrysler Saratoga Club Coupe Optional 1952 Chrysler Imperial Parade Phaeton 1955 Chrysler C300 The Chrysler Air Raid Siren. At 138 decibels, it is the loudest siren ever made. Topic 354 The 354, released in 1956, had a bore of 3.9375 in and stroke of 3.625 in, and the same 10.32 low deck height. The 300B engine was rated at 340 bhp 254 kilowatts, while the New Yorker and Imperial 354 engine configuration produced 280 bhp 209 kilowatts. For the 300B an optional 355 horsepower 265 kilowatts, 360 PS version was available, making it the first American V8 to be rated at 1 horsepower per cubic inch. Note that was before 1972, horsepower was say gross. After 1972, horsepower is say net. The 354 was also modified. 
the Hemi was optimized for heavy-duty truck service. These were available with one or two four-barrel carburetors, and were offered in Dodge's heaviest duty models as the Power Giant V8 from 1957 through 1959. They were the largest of four Hemi truck engines offered by Dodge in the 1950s. The 354 was also offered in certain models with polyspheric heads rather than Hemi heads. The combustion chambers on these had similarities to both Hemi and wedge heads, but were closer in weight to wedge heads. Thus, both 354 Poly and 354 Hemi V8 engines were variously available in 1957. The 354 engine was used in the following applications, 1956 Chrysler New Yorker 1956 Chrysler 300B 1956 Imperial Custom and Crown 1957 Dodge D501 1957 to 1959 Dodge C-Series Pickup Topic 392 The 392 raised deck engine released in 1957 had a 4.00 in 101.6 mm bore and 3.906 in 99.21 mm stroke. The actual displacement is 392.67 cu in 6435 cc. The deck height, at 10.87 in 276.1 mm, was one half in 13 mm taller than that of the previous blocks. Because its deck was taller, the heads were cast with wider intake ports so that earlier manifolds could be used with the new heads on the new taller block. For 1958, Chrysler offered the 392 in two configurations, 325 bhp 242 kilowatts with 9.25, one compression and 345 bhp 257 kilowatts with 10 to 1 compression, both with a single four-barrel carburetor. A dual four-barrel version of the 392 available in the 1957-58 Chrysler 300C and 300D cars was rated at 375 bhp 280 kilowatts. The 300D, and some marine and industrial engines, used a now rare adjustable rocker. An extremely rare option available on the 1958 300D was Bendix Electrojector fuel injection, with which the 392 was rated at 390 bhp 291 kilowatts. Due to reliability problems with the primitive onboard computer which controlled the injection system, however, 15 of the 16 300D cars built with the fuel injection option were recalled and retrofitted with carburetors. The 392 engine was used in the following applications, 1957-1958 Chrysler New Yorker 1957-1958 Imperial Custom, Crown, and LeBaron 1957 Chrysler 300C 1958 Chrysler Chrysler 300D 1958 Facile Vega Excellence X in the late 1950s and early 1960s, drag racers found the 392 to be a formidable engine and continued to run them competitively into the 1970s. Usual color of the block was silver. Topic: DeSoto. DeSoto's Hemi engines were called Fire Dome. Topic 276 In 1952, DeSoto introduced its version of the firepower with a bore of 3.625 in 92.08 mm and stroke of 3.344 in 84.94 mm, for a displacement of 276.1 cu in 4.5 l. The bore pitch, shared by all DeSoto firepower engines, was 4.3125 in 109.54 mm. Power output was 160 bhp, 119 kilowatts. It was a hot seller, with 50,000 vehicles using the engine until it was replaced in 1954. Topic 291. 
an increase in displacement to 290.8 cu in 4.8 l was made for 1955 by increasing the bore to 3.72 in 94.5 mm topic 330 The DeSoto engine was enlarged for 1956 to 329.9 cu in 5.4 l. Bore was the same as the 291 at 3.72 in 94.5 mm, but stroke was increased to 3.80 in 96.5 mm and a taller raised deck block was used. Topic 341 Displacement was increased again for 1956 DeSoto Adventurer only and 1957 Firedome and Fireflight models to 341.1 cu in 5.6 l Bore was now 3.78 in 96.0 mm with stroke remaining at 3.80 in 96.5 mm the DeSoto Adventurer produced 343 bhp 256 kilowatts using dual Carter WCFB4 barrel carburetors, more than 1 horsepower per cubic inch. The 1956 DeSoto Adventurer was the premier named high-performance version, the DeSoto equivalent of the Chrysler 300, using dual Carter WCFB4 barrel carburetors. The Adventurer engine for 1956 used a displacement of 341 SID 3.78 bore by 3.80 stroke and had a compression ratio of 9.51 using a special hydraulic camshaft profile. Topic 345 The largest DeSoto engine for 1957 was the DeSoto Adventurer offering 344.6 cu in 5.6 l with square bore and stroke dimensions of 3.80 inches. The DeSoto Adventurer used dual Carter WCFB4 barrel carburetors for a rating of 345 bhp 257 kilowatts, again producing 1 horsepower per cubic inch utilizing a similar intake manifold to the 1956-341 Adventurer and a similar camshaft. Compression ratio remained at 9.5, 1.0. Dodge Dodge's Hemi was introduced in 1953 as the Red Ram. Dodge did not have a V8 engine until one was developed specifically for the line in 1953 based on the 1951 Chrysler Hemi design, but downsized for these smaller cars. They have the smallest bore center distance of any Hemi engine at 4.1875 in 106.4 mm. They do not share any major dimensions or components with the larger Chrysler and DeSoto Hemi engines, or the Plymouth A engines. From 1955 to 1958 lower performance versions of the Dodge Hemi were introduced by substituting less complex poly single rocker shaft heads and valve train parts, including one variant only built as a poly 259. These were used in low-line 1955-58 DeSotos and Dodges, and 1955-56 high-line Plymouths. Topic 241 Dodge introduced the 241.3 cu in 4.0 L engine in 1953. Bore was 3.4375 in 87.3 mm and stroke was 3.25 in 82.6 mm. With a low compression ratio of 7.0,1 in 1953 and for the 1954 Meadowbrook, the 241 produced 140 bhp 104 kilowatts. For 1954, the more senior Dodges received 150 bhp 112 kilowatts thanks to a higher 7.5,1 compression ratio. 
This engine is not the same as the Plymouth 241, which had polyspheric, not hemi heads. The 241 only lasted two years, being replaced by the 270 for 1955. Topic. 270 The D-553 1955-1956 Dodge Red Ram Hemi 270 displaced 270 cu in 4.4L and was used in premium 1955 and 1956 Dodge vehicles. Bore was 3.625 in 92.1 mm and stroke was 3.25 in 82.6 mm. It was not the same as the 270 polyhead. In the Dodge Coronet, running 7.6, 1 compression ratio, the 270 produced 183 bhp 136 kilowatts. In higher trims like the Dodge Royal, the Super Red Ram ran the same compression ratio but with a four-barrel carburetor produced 193 bhp 144 kilowatts. Topic. 315 For 1956, Dodge increased the displacement to 315 cu in 5.2L with a longer 3.80 in 96.5 mm stroke and a taller raised deck block and now with a polyspheric heads, no longer a hemi. But the optional high-performance D500 version of this engine had a four-barrel carburetor and a larger valved Dodge hemispherical combustion chambered head. Also, a race-only package called the D501 or Dash 1 was available with a special aluminum dual four-barrel intake that sported a pair of Carter WCFB carburetors similar to the ones on the Chrysler 300B and DeSoto Adventurer. This engine utilized the same cylinders heads as the base D500 model. The D501 in 57 was the Chrysler 354 engine, not a Dodge-based engine. Topic 325 Dodge released a 325CU in 5.3L engine for 1957. The engine used a 3.6875 in 93.7 mm bore and 3.80 in 96.5 mm stroke. The base engine offering was now a polyspheric chambered head referenced as KDS, and a higher performance 325 was offered with Hemi heads as the KD500. Again there was a low volume offering of a KD501 with dual four-barrel carburetors. All engines now, however, had hydraulic camshafts even though the Hemi-headed offerings sported dimples in the valve covers for mechanical adjuster clearance. Topic. Second generation, 426 The hemispherical head design was revived in 1964. These were the first engines officially designated Hemi, a name Chrysler had trademarked. Chrysler Hemi engines of this generation displaced 426 CU in 7.0L. Just 11,000 Hemi engines were ultimately produced for consumer sale due to their relatively high cost and the sheer size of the engine bay required to fit it in. The 426 Hemi was nicknamed the Elephant Engine at the time, a reference to its high power, heavy weight and large physical dimensions. Its 10.72 in 272.3 mm deck height and 4.80 in 121.9 mm bore spacing made it the biggest engine in racing at the time. The 426 Hemi of the 1960s was an engine produced for use in NASCAR, used in a racing version of a Plymouth Belvedere in 1964. It was not initially available to the general buying public. 
the 426 Hemi was not allowed to compete in NASCAR's 1965 season due to its unavailability in production vehicles sold to the general public and because of complaints by Ford regarding its power. However several special production cars were produced and sold with the 426 Hemi. These were the Dodge Dart and Plymouth Fury later in 1965 included the Dodge Coronet and included aluminum fenders and bumpers and for drag racing. However they were sold to the general public. Chrysler introduced the Street Hemi in 1966 for its intermediate range of cars and sold the required number of Hemi engines to the public to legitimize its use for NASCAR in 1966. The Street Hemi was the similar to the Race Hemi but with an inline 2x4 BBL induction system with automatic choke, lower compression 10.25, 1 from 12.5, 1 and lower lift camshaft, with iron exhaust manifolds instead of lighter steel long tube headers, although all manufacturers were familiar with multi-valve engines and hemispherical combustion chambers, adding more valves per cylinder, or designing the complex valve train needed for a hemispherical chamber were expensive ways of improving the high RPM breathing of production vehicles. By canting the angle of the NASCAR mandated two valves per cylinder, significantly larger valves could be used. The Chrysler 426 Hemi and all Chrysler RBs had oversquare bore and strokes. Specifically, the 426 Hemi and 426 Wedge had a bore X stroke of 4 and a quarter in times 3 and 3 quarters in 108.0 mm times 95.3 mm. The 426 Hemi also was used in NHRA and AHRA drag racing. Its large casting allowed the engine to be overboard and stroke to displacements unattainable in the other engines of the day. Top fuel racing organizers limited the bore spacing of engines until very recently, when under pressure from Ford and other manufacturers, the bore spacing allowed was increased to 4.90 in 124.5 mm. This allows other engines such as the Ford 385 series to begin to compete. The engines based on the old Chrysler design predominate top fuel and funny car classes due to plentiful parts, large amount of research and development, as well as decades of experience with the problems of the engine's design. In drag racing today, the engine bears little resemblance to any engine produced by Chrysler. It is usually equipped with a large roots-type supercharger and short individual exhaust pipes, and fueled with nitromethane. Yet, this variant is used in top fuel, funny car, and pro-modified classes. The 426 Hemi, in street Hemi form, was produced for consumer automobiles from 1965 through 1971. There were many differences between the Hemi and the wedge head big block, including main cross bolted bearing caps and a different head bolt pattern. There were also many differences between the racing Hemis and the street Hemi, including but not limited to compression ratio, camshaft, intake manifold, exhaust manifold. Some 1960s NASCAR and NHRA Hemi engines featured magnesium cross-ram intake manifolds and magnesium oil pans in an attempt to reduce the massive weight of the overall engine, along with chain-driven internal dry sump oil systems. Today, aftermarket blocks, heads, intakes, rods and pistons are usually made of aluminum. The Street Hemi version was rated at 425 bhp, 431 ps, 317 kilowatts at 5000 revolutions per minute say gross and 490 pound feet, 664 Nm at 4000 revolutions per minute of torque equipped with a pair of four barrel Carter AFB carburetors. In actual dynamometer testing, it produced 433.5 horsepower, 323 kilowatts, 440 PS, and 472 pound-feet, 640 Nm of torque in purely stock form. Chrysler's sales literature published both the gross 425 horsepower, 317 kilowatts, 431 PS, and net 350 horsepower, 261 kilowatts, 355 PS ratings for 1971. 
to avoid confusion with earlier 1951 and current Hemi engines, the 426 is sometimes called the 2G or Gen 2 Hemi. The street version of the 2G Hemi engine was used optionally in all but the last case in the following vehicles. 1966 to 1970 Dodge Coronet Plymouth Belvedere. 1966 to 1971 Plymouth Satellite. 1966 to 1971 Dodge Charger. 1967 to 1971 Plymouth GTX. 1968 Dodge Dart Superstock 1968 Plymouth Barracuda 1968-1971 Dodge Super B 1968-1971 Plymouth Road Runner 1969 Dodge Charger Daytona 1970 Plymouth Superbird 1970-1971 Plymouth Hemi Cuda 1970-1971 Dodge Challenger 1970 Monteverdi High 450 Topic. As collectibles Hemi-powered Dodge and Plymouth cars produced in the model years of 1965 through 1971 have become collector's items. For example, a 1971 Plymouth Barracuda convertible equipped with the 426 Hemi engine sold at auction for US$3.5 million in 2014. Topic. Third generation, trademarked The current production, Hemi Engine heads are flatter and more complex than the 1950s to 70s Hemi V8 chamber. The combustion chambers are no longer truly hemispherical. It uses a coil on plug distributorless ignition system and two spark plugs per cylinder to shorten flame travel, leading to more consistent combustion and reduced emissions. Like most of Chrysler's past model Hemi head engines, the 5.7 version is rated at approximately 1 horsepower per cubic inch the current engines are say net, whereas the old Hemi engines were rated say gross. For the 2009 model year power was increased to 357 to 395 horsepower 266 to 291 kilowatts and 389 to 410 pound-feet 527 to 556 Nm depending on application. It also achieved 4% better fuel economy. Variable valve timing VVT was also introduced. A new variable displacement technology called multi-displacement system MDS is used in some versions which can shut off two cylinders on each bank under light load to improve fuel economy. Topic 5.7 345 The 5.7L Hemi was released for model year 2003 on the Dodge Ram 1500, 2500, and 3500 pickup trucks to complement the Magnum 5.9 engine. As of 2004 it was the only available gasoline engine in the Ram Heavy Duty. Chrysler later made the 5.7L Hemi available in all models of the 2004 Dodge Ram, Dodge Durango, the 2005 Chrysler 300C, Dodge Magnum RT, Jeep Grand Cherokee, the 2006 Dodge Charger RT, and the 2009 Dodge Challenger RT. For manual transmission applications, Challenger and three quarters and one ton Ram pickups, cylinder deactivation is not included. The 5.7L 345CU in Hemi and the Ram delivered 345 horsepower, 257.3 kilowatts and 398 pound-feet, 540 Nm, but 340 horsepower, 253.5 kilowatts and 390 pound-feet, 529 Nm for the 300C and Magnum RT, which is exactly 100 horsepower, 74.6 kilowatts more than the old 5. 5.9 engine. 
It is a 90 degree V8 two valve pushrod design like the past Magnum series engines, displacing 5,654 cc 345 cu in, with a bore of 3.917 in 99.49 mm and a stroke of 3.578 in 90.88 mm. The 5.7 L Hemi is made at Chrysler's Saltillo engine plant in Ramos Arispe, Mexico. The Hemi was on the Ward's 10 Best Engines list for 2003 through 2007, and again in 2009. This engine is used in the following vehicles. 2003 present Ram pickup. 2004 to 2009, 2011 present Dodge Durango. 2005 present Chrysler 300 300C. 2005 to 2008 Dodge Magnum RT 2005 present Dodge Charger RT 2005 present Jeep Grand Cherokee 2006 to 2010 Jeep Commander 2007 to 2009 Chrysler Aspen 2009 present Dodge Challenger Topic 2009 revisions, 5.7 Eagle Chrysler has made various revisions to the 5.7L for the 2009 model year. The first for all applications is what Chrysler calls variable camshaft timing or VCT. VCT, which is essentially variable valve timing, uses an oil control valve which controls oil flow to a unique camshaft sprocket which contains a phasing device, which depending on the operation of the oil control valve either advances or retards camshaft timing. Cylinder heads have been revised to increase flow. Though the intake manifold has also been changed on all applications, it is however model specific. Dodge Ram, non-hybrid electric vehicle HEV, Chrysler Aspens, and non-HEV Dodge Durango utilize an active intake manifold with a short runner valve to optimize torque and horsepower. At lower engine RPM the valve is closed, resulting in improved low-end torque from the longer runners. At higher engine RPM the valve is opened, diverting the incoming air into the center of the manifold. The shorter runners results in improved horsepower. Passenger cars, Jeep vehicles, as well as HEV Chrysler Aspen and HEV Dodge Durango do not use this manifold. Instead, these vehicles utilize a passive intake manifold, which does not have a short runner valve. Six-speed manual transmission and all heavy-duty truck applications will differ by not having the multi-displacement system MDS. The new version of the 5.7L has five different camshaft profiles. All will have VCT. Active intake with MDS. Active intake without MDS. Passive intake with MDS. Passive intake without MDS. HEV application, modified version of passive intake with MDS power numbers. 300C, 363 horsepower, 271 kilowatts, 394 pound-feet, 534 Nm. Charger RT, 370 horsepower, 276 kilowatts, 395 pound-feet, 536 Nm. Challenger RT automatic, 372 horsepower, 277 kilowatts, 400 pound-feet, 542 Nm. Challenger R T six speed manual three hundred seventy five horsepower two hundred eighty kilowatts four hundred ten pound feet five hundred fifty six Nm two thousand nine to twenty twelve Ram fifteen hundred truck three hundred ninety horsepower two hundred ninety one kilowatts four hundred seven pound feet five hundred fifty two Nm 2013 plus Ram 1500 truck, 395 horsepower, 295 kilowatts, 410 pound feet, 556 Nm. Ram 2500 3500 truck, 383 horsepower, 286 kilowatts, 400 pound feet, 542 Nm. Jeep Grand Cherokee and Jeep Commander, 360 horsepower, 268 kilowatts, 390 pound-feet, 529 Nm. 
2011 plus Dodge Durango, 360 horsepower, 268 kilowatts, 390 pound-feet, 529 Nm. 2009 Chrysler Aspen and Dodge Durango non-HEV, 376 horsepower, 280 kilowatts, 401 pound-feet, 544 Nm. 2009 Chrysler Aspen and Dodge Durango HEV, 399 horsepower, 298 kilowatts, 390 pound-feet, 529 Nm. Topic. 6.1 The Hemi is also available in a 6059cc 6.1L 369.7 cu in version. The engine's bore X stroke is 103mm x 90.9mm 4.055 in x 3.579 in and many other changes were made to allow it to produce 425 bhp 317 kilowatts, 431 PS at 6200 revolutions per minute and 420 pound-feet of torque at 4800 revolutions per minute. The engine block is different from the 5.7, with revised coolant channels and oil jets to cool the pistons. A forged crankshaft, lighter pistons and strengthened connecting rods aid durability. A cast aluminium intake manifold is tuned for high RPM power and does not include variable length technology. Chrysler's multi-displacement system is not used on the 6.1. Applications 2005 to 2010 Chrysler 300 CSRT8 2005 to 2008 Dodge Magnum SRT8 2006 to 2010 Dodge Charger SRT8 2006 to 2010 Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT8 2008 to 2010 Dodge Challenger SRT8 Topic 6.2 Hellcat For 2015, Chrysler introduced an all-new high-performance supercharged variant of the Hemi engine, called the Hellcat, named after the Grumman F6F Hellcat. It features the same 4.09 in 103.9 mm bore as the 6.4 L Hemi and the same 3.578 in 90.9 mm stroke as the 5.7 L, giving it a total displacement of 6166 cc, 6.2 L, 376.3 cu in. The supercharger is a 2380 cc, 145 cu in twin screw IHI unit with integrated charge coolers, capable of producing 11.6 psi, 80 kilopascals, 0.80 bars of boost. This engine is rated at 707 bhp, 717 ps, 527 kilowatts at 6000 revolutions per minute and 650 pound feet, 881 Nm at 4000 revolutions per minute of torque and has a compression ratio of 9.51. This engine was the most powerful engine produced by Chrysler as well as the most powerful production engine ever in a muscle car until the Dodge Demon was introduced. This engine is not equipped with Chrysler's multi-displacement system. In 2017, Mopar announced that it would sell it as a crate engine under the name Hellcrate. Applications 2015-present Dodge Challenger SRT Hellcat 2015-present Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat 2018-present Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT Trackhawk 2018-present Hellcat Crate Engine Topic 6.2 Demon. The Demon version of the Hemi V8 features a number of improvements over the Hellcat variant. It is fitted with a larger 2.7-liter twin-screw supercharger, as well as reinforced reciprocating components, a new camshaft, and several other valve train upgrades. With these improvements, the Challenger SRT Demon is rated at 808 horsepower on 91 octane pump gasoline, and 840 horsepower when running on 100 octane unleaded racing gasoline. 
Cooling is aided by a functional air grabber hood scoop, as well as a unique charge cooling system which makes use of the air conditioning coolant to lower the intake charge air temperature. High-speed launches are assisted by a factory line lock system, which allows the car to perform a burnout to warm the rear tires, the first transmission brake to be installed in a production car, and the torque reserve launch system. Applications 2018 Dodge Challenger SRT Demon Topic 6.4 392 Apache Chrysler displayed a larger and more powerful 392 cubic inch 6.4L Hemi in 2005 with a conservative factory rated output of 525 horsepower 391 kilowatts 532 PS and 510 pound feet 691 Nm torque. It is equipped with high strength forged aluminium alloy pistons. This engine has been available since 2007, as a crate under the name 392 Hemi. The production version of the 392 Hemi was launched in the 2011 Dodge Challenger SRT8 with variable camshaft timing as well as MDS in cars with automatic transmissions. The new 392 Hemi, codenamed Apache, is based on the third generation 5.7L Hemi, codenamed Eagle and shares few parts with the 392 crate engine. In late 2009 Chrysler has said the new engine will be available in the next generation SRT8 Dodge Charger, Chrysler 300C, and Jeep Grand Cherokee. Special edition Challengers equipped with this engine, and the engines themselves, will bear 392 Hemi. Badging in commemorative reference to the first generation Hemi engine of the same piston displacement. In other applications, the engine is badged as 6.4 L Hemi. Output is 470 horsepower, 350 kilowatts, and 470 pound-feet, 637 Nm. For the 2015 model year, horsepower was increased by 15 to 485 horsepower, 362 kilowatts, and 475 pound-feet, 644 Nm. In the Charger and Challenger, the Grand Cherokee SRT only saw a 5 bhp increase. The engine is available in the Chrysler 300 SRT8, Dodge Charger SRT8, and Charger RT Scat Pack for 2015, the Challenger RT Scat Pack 2015 Up and SRT, and the Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT8. In 2014, Chrysler chose to change the SRT8 moniker to SRT, removing the 8, which was a cylinder quantity nomenclature. From there on, this was put into effect for all SRT models from all of Chrysler's divisions. Topic. HD truck and cab chassis version Starting in model year 2014, the Ram 2500 and 3500 trucks, and Ram 3500, 4500, and 5500 cab chassis offered a revised version of the 6.4L, being retuned for better fuel economy and a power band more suitable for hauling and towing than the all out power of the SRT version. In 2016 it replaced the 5.7L as the standard gas engine in the cab chassis models. Power numbers 2500 and 3500 pickup, 3500 SRW cab chassis with RFE transmission, 410 horsepower, 306 kilowatts, 429 pound-feet, 582 Nm. 3500 mega cab 3500 drw cab chassis with rfe transmission 3500 srw drw with eisen transmission 370 horsepower 276 kilowatts 429 pound feet 582 nm 4500 and 5500 cab chassis 366 horsepower 273 kilowatts 429 pound feet 582 nm topic mopar 426 hemi 2012 
At the 2012 North American International Auto Show in Detroit, Dodge debuted a Mopar customized Dodge Charger, Redline that featured a modern 426 cubic inch 7.0L Hemi V8 engine rated at 590 horsepower 440 kilowatts 598 PS Topic Marketing During February to April 2005 Daimler Chrysler hosted a What can you Hemi Contest promoting alternative uses of the Hemi engines. The top five finalists include Hemi Snowblower, Hemi Go Round Carousel, Hemi on Ice Ice Resurfacer, Hemi Shredder, Hemi Big Wheel, i.e. the child's tricycle of the 1970s. The winner was the Hemi Big Wheel, which had a 5.7L Hemi in the back that was installed backwards, thus reverse became the only forward gear. Plate steel was the predominant material, while a rolled tube of steel had to be utilized for the front tire as there were no such tires 4 foot 122 centimeters in diameter that were as narrow as needed for this project. <laughs> Notes <laughs>